Hey, it's me, T, from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet at an undisclosed location. Look, I was at the VA this morning. Well, I had an eye, I had an eye, I had an eye appointment. And boy, you know, they put that stuff in your eye. I came back from there, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's like 60 degrees here. Well, see, would that be in uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit here. I don't know what the conversion is. I guess it'd probably be like, uh, I don't know, 20 something, whatever. Anyway, so I went to the. Uh, I went to the VA because I had an eye appointment. Point, because, you know, when there was uh, one of those really extensive tests that blow stuff in your eye, and then you're like, you're like you know, you got to wear sunglasses afterwards because you're like, you're. Anyway, couldn't couldn't read. I had to, in fact, I was tired because I get up. Like, it, appointments like this morning, nine thirty, something like that. I was in the like a water in here. Hmm. Water good. Anyway, so uh, so I came back. So I couldn't read. I mean, I couldn't read because I couldn't see, couldn't read very well. You know, it was nice, warm sunny day. But I was tired because I get up at four thirty. You know, back to my regular routine, four thirty in the morning. Blah blah blah. So I was tired. So. Uh, I figured I'd go outside, maybe get some sun, but I was too tired. I just went to sleep, so I just woke up. Anyway, anyway, so I have, uh, hey, look what I have. Guinness. I like Guinness, you know? But, okay, I wasn't going to drink, you know, uh, not drinking a lot this um, this little trip, you know, whatever. But I was there, and then I read the label, you know, for this particular Guinness. They say, they, they have, I guess they have different things. This is Guinness Drought Stout. You know, and this is made with uh, what did they say? Uh, some facts there. I don't know what that means. No, this one's still it's brewed in Ireland because you have Guinness have factories all over the world or whatever breweries all over the world. And this one, uh, it has well, I was reading the thing. What, what it says? This one has a uh, uh, nitro nitro generated stout, smooth and creamy. Hints. Okay, here's here's what got me. Okay. See right there. I think here we think the market and they always get you. It says hints. There has one one. It says hints of coffee and chocolate, smoothly balanced with bitter sweet roasted notes, something like that. The definitive taste bottle. Oh, the definitive taste bottled. Ah, English, whatever. But that's what got me. It said it had chocolate in it. Oh gosh, why did they do that? You know, there's this. I have a friend, CBD. He says something like, you know, well, this the, the the this planet is the only planet that has chocolate in the world. I mean, in in the universe. I'm going like, hmm, I don't know. I gotta look that up. Know, who knows? Anyway, so I got this. Mm. Look, I like. I love going to the VA. Well, for one thing, because they have a they have these like called Patriot Cafe. And in Patriot Cafe, they have this meal that I always get. It's, uh, I got it right here. I'm going to eat. It's uh, a baked salmon uh, along with, uh, I get baked salmon. What do they have? It's like, I don't know if it's like that's behind me. So they got baked salmon along with this, uh, this uh, noodle. Right, they want to give it. I don't do it right. See, this that's that noodle that they have. Mm. Mm. Big salmon right there. Big salmon. And most importantly, they got like a cabbage, you know. Cabbage, good for you. Mm. Oh, I like eating with chopsticks. You should try, if you have a weight problem, <laughs> try eating with chopsticks so that, you know, you'll eat less. But that's not what we're talking about. I got a message. I sent my wife uh, an email, somebody else. She sent me an email back about the virus. Oh, watch the virus, blah, blah, blah. Now, she knows very well I have a medical background. Plus, I ain't take a flu. I don't get colds. And I don't get nothing. I, I think it's because my body, I'm sure it's because my body, I have a high metabolism. And so what happens, I just burn everything off. Always, my whole entire life, I just burn everything off. That's what I'm, a, I'm like a, I have an internal speed kind of thing, you know? So I, so, so certain things, well, I just have an internal clock. My, my thing is just hot, you know, so it burns everything off. 
I was thinking about that. Then I went back to the because they keep on spreading this rumor, like you know, Africa, black people because of the melanin or whatever have you, don't get whatever, whatever. So I, I was looking at the map. I said, it don't make no sense. I mean, virus is a virus in your body, no matter what it is. And, you know, and and, you, and, the, and the virus goes through your pores, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, that's why you have to keep your hands there. And then that, you know, that's what transmitted. And it's like, um, so anyway, so so it didn't make any sense to me. Then, then I talked to my sister this morning. Well, she, she, she called me. And she was talking about the virus. And now she's a, she's, she's a nurse, she, you know, it's actually just, well, she's a nurse practitioner. She's a nurse. You know, this is the wrong, wrong time to be a nurse because everybody's flooding the hospitals. They got questions galore. Mm. Oh, I like this beer. But anyway, so I looked at the map like that because she said something kind of interesting. And then this is sort of, I know this to be somewhat, somewhat to be true, is that, you know, um, you can burn, you know, uh, you can burn the virus off. Your body will burn it off. You know, in fact, the virus outside the body will last about, you know, a few hours, really. Even if you, even if you sneeze and somebody get the droplets or whatever have you, this, the sun or the heat, whatever, like, I don't even know if it's a few hours, minutes, you know, it, it, it's ineffectual, whatever, it's like that. But I was looking at the map of where the virus is, whatever it is, right? France is 1,400 plus cases, right? UK is 300 plus cases. Germany is uh, um, one, um, 1,100 cases, Algeria is 20 cases, Egypt is 55, Israel is 39, Iran, over 7,100 cases. China, over 80,700 cases. Uh, India, uh, 40 cases. What's that? North Korea, over 7,400 cases. Japan, over 1,100 cases. Brazil, 25 cases. Mexico, 7 cases. U.S., 600 plus cases. Canada, 66 cases. Iceland, uh, 58 cases. Okay, I said Russia is like 17 cases. Anyway, let me keep on going down here for a second. Uh, Australia, 78 cases. New, uh, New Zealand, 5 cases. Argentina, 12 cases. Brazil, uh, 25 cases. So I'm looking at this. Nigeria is 2 cases. I don't know if I said that before. Uh, South Africa is three cases. Now I can look at Nigeria. I know that one Nigerian case, the guy came from Italy, and um, and of course that's, that's, you can chalk that up to travel, right? South Africa, of course they travel a lot. You know you can chalk that up to travel. It's not indigenous, you know, autochthonous to, to the region. Brazil. Anyway, so when you look at this bull, all of most of Africa, except for those, except for those four countries: Nigeria, Algeria, um, uh, Egypt, South Africa. Ain't no cases reported. I say, well, no. <laughs> People think it's because of the skin, and uh, I think. And but my sister was talking, saying that uh, because the heat, you know, that they that they heat. But then if that if that's true, then you know because of the equator is right there. Then oh, that's right. Central America doesn't have my beloved Belize don't have no cases. Um, all the Central America, Honduras, all the, they don't have cases or whatever it is. Uh, Colombia doesn't have cases. I guess that's Colombia up there. So, but you look at the equator, you know, except for, well, if you, if you look at Nigeria as a travel, travel, people traveling virus, then that may be true. But then Brazil, I guess Brazil has a lot of travelers too, because, you know, you got a lot of, got a lot of, okay, I won't say nothing about that. Anyway, it's like that. But Argentina, I don't know. Argentina has a lot of people, you know, they'd be, you know, they Let's put it. Let's put it like a lot of a lot of German descended people. Let's put it that way. So maybe true. I don't know. But but the point is, most of Madagascar, all of them, no, 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 no cases. They got some case. That, what is that? Liberia, Cameroon, know, something up there. No, no, Senegal. Looks like Senegal. Yeah, because there's a Gambia. So uh, they not they don't was uh, so Senegal may have some, but again, you know, could be travel. You know, I'm French. So I'm thinking, I'm going like, oh, this is interesting. So I guess the, the, the people we're talking about, like black people are immune. I don't know about that. Anyway, the VA, the, the VA, the, I, you can notice there was less people there. Maybe it's just a Monday. Monday has more people. has less people there. Uh, but, you know, everybody's cool. You know, wash your hands. They get the sanitizers all over the place. You know, those people make a lot of money. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to do but about this map. Well, just that you know, most of the places, the hotbed is, is basically um, Iran, China, uh, Japan, South Korea. I guess they don't have any statistics on North Korea. 
Italy, for some reason, 9,100 plus cases. France, where those travel places. So I guess with this virus, I mean, you know, go to Africa without the virus or be in Africa, hang out in Africa, don't go no place, right? And um, um, be black, I suppose. That's just a supposition for me. T, Funda Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.